Hi, hey, how are you doing? Battle King here. Well, today we're gonna look at basic animation. Kinda cool thing. Well, this is our head we did in the last tutorial. I just switched in object mode. And the animation I'm going to do is this head will be gonna hit by an easy bottle. So, first of all, I'm gonna create the bottle. Um, for this, I deselect all the things, deselect them. I add a mesh, uh, especially a cylinder. Here it is. And I take this one to here. Well, for animations, oops, it is important to cut the right light and the a, a, a good camera position. I've already changed my camera position and the light, so if I'm looking through the camera with the zero button on your keypad, it looks like this. But the big fail is, in the animation it won't look like this. To find out how it will look, you go to Render, Render Image. And it will look exactly like the image you got here. So, Render, Render Image. Or just press F12. back to the 3D view. Well I think this character got a lot of ag uh, edges and stuff like that so I change him to smooth and he's much rounder than before. Back to the camera view, render image, see looks cooler than before. 3D view. Now for the animation. Oops. Make sure you're in the object mood and you get a, a timeline anywhere in your screen. So, timeline, oops, is here, that little clock symbol here. Um, well, I think everybody knows how a uh, timeline looks like. Well, this is the start of the movie, anywhere there is the end of it. Um, the numbers here are not the seconds, that are the frames, so the pictures the pictures in the animation. You also can see the picture number right here. Picture number 4 in the animation, 6, 10, 12, 20. Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do... Zoom a bit out, so... Set this one smooth too. Click. Good. What we're gonna do is press E... Uh, sorry, I mean A. No, I don't mean A. I mean uh, I. <laughs> I on your keypad. And this menu will show up, and here you can say um, what attributes you want to add in your timeline. So you go to the start of the timeline to zero, you press E, and you say you want the location of the head right in the moment. So this location you want at the start of the movie. So location, I want the rotation too at the be uh, beginning of the movie, and the scale. Uh, the same for the bottle here, what it should look like. Scale, rotation, location. So, where I'm gonna drag it to anywhere, and this one too. Oh shit. <laughs> I drag it to anywhere. Okay, I switched it. Then I just jump back to the movie. You see, it has, it has already changed. So, drag it to here, switch anywhere in the movie. Tick, it gets back. That's only because we set the, uh, the yellow marker here. The yellow marker uh, marks the points in the movie where you change anything. So, what I'm doing now is going to the start, and I think about the motion that that object has to do until it hits the body. So, I'm just starting the movie, and I just think about the motion. So, one, two, three, tick. So, well, I'm, I'm starting the, the movie and stopping when the bottle should hit the head. So, the bottle starts now. And now it should hit uh, the guy's head. So, I just drag it. Hit it until his head. Zoom it in to scale it exactly like it should be. Tick. I press E, location. Now you can see we got this next marker here. 
So we go to the start. We press play. Tuk. You see, we already got our first easy animation. Tuk. Good. Okay. But that looks a bit crazy now because it's just a straight way here. So we start, stop at the middle, drag the thing a bit up. We say E for location. Starting from the beginning again. You duck. See? Good. What I want to do now is to bring in a little uh, rotation. So I rotate that thing. Say E. Oh well, sorry, I, I missed a step. So at the start, I just press exactly on the yellow, yellow line here. It must be exactly on the line. Then it drags me to this point. I rotate the object a bit and say E I. Sorry, I always say E uh, I rotation. So what you're gonna see now is the object is gonna rotate forward until here, and it's gonna rotate back until here. Oh well, it hasn't rotated back because we haven't set it here. Good. Okay. Now we got a little rotation in the scene. We're going to the uh, the last point from the video. The more rotation, and we say a rotation. Going to start again, looking for stuff, and we see it hits the guy with a bit rotation. Good. Uh, what I'm what I want next is. The object starts very slow and starts very slow and gets faster here. It gets much faster here. What I'm gonna do for this is to go to the middle point here, grab the uh, the object a bit back in the scene, like here, rotate it a bit back. I don't know. Let's say the rotation stays, and we say location. So what we got now is a uh, uh, the object will be faster with time. Good. Now, as you can see, it gets slowly and fast. Good. Now we go to the middle of this one. And we say, dude, go a bit back and rotate a bit more. I, location, rotation. Going to start again. Here at the end, a bit more rotation, E, rotation, starting from here. Good. When we look through the camera, by pressing 0 on your numpad, it looks like this. Moment. Now start. Scene. Great. Well, ah, uh, go away here. So, what I want next is the object jumps out of his head and flies to anywhere. For well, this point, I'm just starting and stopping. Uh, so I start and stop when the object is out of uh, the camera here. That would be now. So I'm dragging the object out of the camera and I rotate. I rotation location. Watching the camera. Start. Have you seen? Cool animation. Now we say. Oh, now we can't render the animation. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't done any animation yet, you should make sure that that you go to um. Where is it? Properties here. So we go to properties. Oops. We go here on that little camera. That's for the rendering. So we want to render the animation. So we got the right options. Just watch these options here. They're the best, I think. So here, um, it's quite important to get one of these things here. 
because we want to do a movie in other image. So we take I usually take H.264. Uh, I really like that and never made problem to me. Then I change the folder to my desktop. Here's my desktop. Uh, here I just say accept. So it will save my file as an H.264 on my desktop. Yeah, and the rest isn't really that nice. Maybe you should watch these things, but I think they're already the same when you start up the first time. But that's really basic here. You, you have to know that. So now, what we're doing is rendering animation. Now you see in the screen, it renders our animation. When we go here to... Oh, goddammit. It's a bit lagging because of rendering. It takes a lot of uh, space from. God damn it! Where is it? Okay. You see where we are here? I think we do. No, we don't. Okay. Now the object is coming. It's hitting the guy. What is jumping out of this? Out of the scene? What? What the problem is now? We haven't set an end. I forgot about this. Well. Here the object is out of the movie, so we say we can watch here frame 37. So we say say uh, start at frame one, end at frame 37. Enter. Now you see it gets dark here, and only this one is the anima animation here. Duk, duk, always the same. So we do it again, render animation, just to show you it takes a lot of uh, save CPU. On 30%, 20%, sometimes it's nearly on 90%. It's fucking hard to work with this. So just do nothing else. If you can't an uh, render your animation because you've involved too much of objects, just close uh, all your other programs and I hope you will go on soon. Well, I think this one is already finished. No, it isn't. Stopped. Ah, oh, dude. That's exactly what I say. So, well, I will show you the movie, right? Oh no, it, it is done. It is done. It's done. Good, cool. Go on my desktop, and we will see a uh, movie. Where the fuck is it? Yeah, that's it. Have seen? That's our movie we did. Tick. Tick. Cool stuff. So, start training a bit with these things. There is a lot of stuff to do, and I hope you enjoy. And I hope you get better with the animations and with setting the markers for the frames and all that stuff. So, see you next time. Bye.